Hello, my name's Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLR UK. Welcome to my fifth video demonstration of Trustee's Rapport, showing you how it combats spyware on your machine. In this demonstration I will show you that Rapport can block SSL monitoring spyware on your machine by showing you the Zamana SSL logging test tool. Many people think that if they have an encrypted web session that nobody can read what is being sent between the browser and server. This, unfortunately, isn't true. Let's start by looking at what Zamana SSL logging test tool actually does. So we'll just move it into the corner now to give a bit more space on the desktop and we'll start it up. Now I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. I should explain that this is uh, an XP Service Pack 3 machine with Internet Explorer 8 running on it. And the first thing we're going to do is try and log into Google. Now I'm not going to use a real account here but you can see immediately uh, down the bottom here that the test tool is already logging what's happening here. So we can see um, the user agent string down there and that even though this is an encrypted session as could be seen from the padlock at the top of the browser, we are actually logging the traffic that's going, acro going across between the web browser and the web server. So I now put in a fake email address so let's call it fake at nowhere.com and we'll have a password of no password okay I will now try and sign in with that obviously Google fails because that isn't a real account however if I look in the background here you can see that even though this was an encrypted session again remember the padlock is there at the top of the uh, address bar we've picked up the email address as fake at nowhere.com and a password of no password. Let's now try one of Trustee's partner websites. I should stress at the moment Rapport is not actually installed on this machine. So we'll go to HSBC and open that up. Now on HSBC site again you could see in the background there um, this is being starting to be logged. Now I don't know if you can read it, but uh, at the side here it says, Welcome, input internet banking user ID, e.g. IB12345678900. So I'm going to do exactly that. IB12345678900. And then I'll click log on. In the background, you can see um, that the test tool is actually logging a lot more things. And again, we've picked up the user ID of IB12345678900. Once again, we can look at the top here. The padlock is actually uh, in the browser address bar. And we have an encrypted session that is being logged. OK, let's shut the browser down now. And we'll have a look at exactly what actually was logged. Copy that, open up Notepad. Now you can see here that we are actually logging all traffic that's going through. Now this test tool is looking for particular keywords. Okay, so we have a post um, here, an HTTP post, and you can see that in the um, data we have an email of fake at nowhere.com and a password of no password. If we come further down, we should see another post just off the bottom of the screen here. And again, we have here the user ID of IB12345678900. OK, so Trustee's Rapport is now actually installed, and here we're using version 1003.5. You can see from the grey symbol in the address bar that it is actually installed, but it's not protecting the Google website because Google are not a trusted partner. Uh, so if I open this up, you can see that uh, this is version 1003.5. Now, the interesting thing is that even though Google is not a trusted partner of uh, Trustee, it will still protect the website against SSL logging. So now we'll go through the exactly the same exercise as we did before. We'll start up the SSL logger. We'll go to Google and try and sign in with our fake account again. So we'll type in fake at nowhere.com and a password of no password. Notice already in the background we have no logging going on in the test tool. If I try and sign in there, 
Google says that it's incorrect, but if we come back to here, although I've started this, I'm not picking anything up at all. So if I now go back to the home page, and we'll go to the partner site again of HSBC. Once again, I'll type in the same uh, banking user ID of IB1234567890 and try and log on. Now, Trusty is going to ask me um, if I want to start monitoring this user ID to try and stop phishing attacks because if I enter this into any other website, it will flag it up and say that this is actually my HSBC banking ID. Do I want to actually go ahead? So I'll say yes, I'll protect it for the moment. Okay, I go on to the next page there. You can see that this site is actually um, protected by Trustier because the Trustier logo has gone green and it's actually verified as HSBC. But again, if we come back to the um, SSL logging tool, we see that it hasn't managed to log anything at all. If we stop that there, again, copy uh, to Notepad, we get nothing there. So no SSL traffic has actually been um, recorded by the logging tool now. Okay, that's the end of my demonstration on Trusty's Rapport uh, protecting against SSL logging.